Real-time data beats slow data. This is true for any software application, including AI and machine learning, where you do predictions, recommendations, or alerts. This is Kai Werner with Confluent, and in this video, I will explore how data streaming with Apache Flink will help to do real-time AI and machine learning model inference. Before we talk about real-time AI, we need to explain what data streaming with Apache Flink means. Apache Flink is a stream processing framework. This means you can continuously process incoming events, transform them, aggregate them, correlate them, and combine them. Or you can use stream processing also for real-time model inference. This is the main topic of this video here today, where we will learn how you can leverage data streaming for real-time model inference, both for predictive analytics and AI, and also for generative AI with large language models. Let's now dig deeper into the specific topic of model inference with Flink. Flink itself is an application as part of the data streaming platform. To use stream processing with Flink, you need data inputs from different data sources. This can be then used for any kind of integration or business logic. But in our case, we want to combine it with AI. And in this example, like in most cases, the analytic models are deployed in its own model server. In this case now, we get input data from machines, payments, mobile apps, or whatever. And then we use the data after we pre-process it and send it into the model server. Then we do our prediction or generation and get the result back. This can be done via API calls synchronously, asynchronously, or maybe more in a streaming mode. You have many options here. But the main point is the stream processing and the AI infrastructure are decoupled from each other. With this, you can scale and operate them by themselves. For example, in the model server, you can do A-B testing, versioning, and so on of your models, and still use all of that together with your real-time stream processing application. And then you use the result from the model server as part of your real-time stream process. So here now, where we get input, process it, use it for real-time model inference, and then we use that prediction or generation of a model to use it in the next part of the business process. Typically, this goes into another Kafka topic, and from there into many other downstream applications. The next Flink application, a third-party data lake, or maybe just a BI tool for batch reporting. So that's now the big picture, how you can do model inference with Apache Flink. And for the model perspective, you can use any third-party AI ML application or infrastructure, like OpenAI or Anthropic, or you build your own custom models for your um, risk and fraud prevention within your entities. You have the freedom of choice and can leverage all of that as part of your real-time stream processing application, no matter if they're analytical or operational. With data streaming and Flink, you can do both. Now let's speak a little bit more about the implementation and architecture of such an environment where you want to do real-time model inference with Apache Flink. The foundation of all of that is an event-driven architecture. With this, you have truly decoupled applications that can use their own technologies and communication paradigms, but then still you can send it to the streaming platform for continuous processing and model inference. The core of the data streaming platform is Apache Kafka. This is where you get all your data sources into, no matter if it's real events coming from some message queue or other interface or from a database or from some logs or sensors. So as a first part of Apache Kafka, we stream data in real time at any scale. And then as a second step, we add the stream processor, Apache Flink. So Flink together with Apache Kafka is the foundation of the data streaming platform. The processing part with Flink can be used not just for the model inference for AI use cases, but also for the pre-processing, for the aggregations, for all the use cases where you need to process data. And you can choose between Flink SQL or between the table API and leverage programming languages, including Java and Python. So some interface for almost everyone. Let's now discuss why Apache Flink is so great for 
AI infrastructures where you can leverage it for real-time model inference, like in this picture here. First of all, Flink provides low latency. So you can process even huge volumes of data in real time if you need to. And this really means at gigabyte scale per second. The combination of low latency and scalability is very powerful. But what's also very important is robustness. In contrary to some batch and reporting workloads, the data streaming platform runs 24 seven and it's elastic at scale so that you can really use it for your most critical and operational workloads and for analytics. And obviously with that, in the end, as data streaming platform unifies the traditional data workloads and the AI workloads. You still have the freedom of choice of your AI technologies, but you can combine them together and build one scalable real-time data infrastructure with the streaming platform. So now, when we talk about a data streaming platform, I already covered the two key open source frameworks, Kafka and Flink. But a data streaming platform is much more than just gluing together some open source frameworks and operating and scaling them by yourself. A complete data streaming platform provides all of that together in a complete solution. And this means on the one side, the stream part we already covered with Kafka. And then we also have the process part with Flink. In addition to that, we also need to do data integration to data sources and data sinks. That is typically Kafka Connect. Kafka Connect can be used for any kind of interface, traditional databases, IoT interfaces, cloud lake houses, AI platforms, anything you need to connect to. No matter if the interface is a real time or a database or an API, you get all of that as an event into the event driven architecture to then continuously process it with Flink afterwards for ETL or for AI model inference in real time. And we don't need just to do stream, process, and connect everything. We also need to govern the entire pipeline. Data governance means things like data lineage for visibility across the entire pipeline. We need it for good data quality, but also for security and compliance reasons like access control, audit logs, encryption or attribute level. A data portal then for self-service where you can access the right data you have access to to process it by yourself in your business unit. And all of this together in a cloud-native elastic way with consumption-based pricing and still where you needed mission-critical SLAs. This is really what a complete data streaming platform means and Kafka and Flink are the core of that. Now, with the understanding of both how model inference with real-time streaming works and how an event-driven architecture looks like with a data streaming platform, now let's explore a few AI use cases and how data streaming helps. First, you can do predictive analytics and AI with data streaming. Predictive AI means you do real-time model inference for use cases like fraud prevention, predictive maintenance, or customer recommendations. This is where you often have trained your own custom model based on your business data and apply the model inference to do the right outputs and predictions within your business process. This can be innovative new use cases you couldn't build before, or this could be extending your existing business processes. So such a business process maybe exists before, but with real-time model inference as part of a streaming platform, you can improve the quality of the decisioning. You can also do generative AI use cases, leveraging large language models with the data streaming platform. Generative AI typically uses large language models and they are typically not built by yourself because it's too hard and, and expensive. So typically you use something like OpenAI and Tropic or any other large language model and leverage that as part of your architecture. Data streaming with an event-driven architecture can be a great foundation for combining your existing data sets with the large language model so that you can implement design patterns like RAG, Retrieval Augmented Generation, which means that you can provide the right semantic search on top of your existing third-party large language model to make the right decisions and recommendations and generate data for your topics, for your business. And at its core, I said this in the beginning of the video, real-time data beats slow data. And no matter if you use predictive AI or generative AI, think about that. 
You always need the data up to date. Otherwise, AI is hallucinating. It's sending wrong recommendations or alerts. And this is where data streaming is much, much better than batch and data lake technologies where the information about predictions often comes too late and also not in a consistent way like in a streaming platform. And this is really the real value that a data streaming platform brings to combine it with any kind of AI or machine learning application or infrastructure. So we learned how data streaming powered by Flink can be used for real-time model inference, especially relevant for operational and transactional use cases, which should never be done in a data lake or lake house. But in addition to doing the model inference, obviously the data streaming platform is the core of most AI infrastructures. So you combine data streaming with your favorite data warehouse, data lake, or lake house. The lake house is the best technology to train models, to do analytics and reporting, batch processing, and so on. But to get good quality in here, you can use the data streaming platform to pre-process the data, shift some of the processing to the left side, closer to where the source is, where it's created. And with this, you can make the data better quality reduce the cost, and still get all the relevant data into your favorite lake house to do the AI model training there. And then for the model inference, you can choose per use case. For critical use cases, for low latency, for robustness, you do that with Flink and its model inference capabilities as part of the platform. Or you also use it in the lake house in some scenarios. You always have the freedom of choice with a data streaming platform what technologies to choose as a data source or as a data sink. To conclude this video, let me walk you through a concrete example now. Let's talk about manufacturing and predictive maintenance. This is a very interesting scenario because it is a hybrid scenario. Manufacturing is always at the edge. It's at a shop floor where you produce tangible things. And from there, then, like in this example, you see some sensors here, or equipment. You feed this data directly in real time into the data streaming platform. In many cases, it's Confluent Cloud, the fully managed service. And from here, then you can pre-process and aggregate the data, like in this example, sensor data for temperature, for pressure. And the aggregated data is then fed into an analytic model so that you can detect anomalies continuously in real time. In most cases, it just goes through and runs 24-7. But in the case of an anomaly and alert, an alert is sent to a mechanic. And this mechanic then in the shop floor level stops the machine before it breaks. Because again, real-time data beats slow data. And finding out that a machine broke after the fact in the data lake analytics, that's too late. With data streaming, you can do all of that with real-time model inference now when it matters most before something happens. And this is not just true like in this example for predictive maintenance, but relevant for any industry. Think about fraud prevention, recommendations, rewards, alerting, you name the use case in your industry. And data streaming can help with that together with your favorite AI platforms. I hope this video helped you understanding how data streaming with Kafka and Flink is connected to the AI and machine learning world and how it helps with real-time model inference. As part of a complete data streaming platform like Confluent Cloud, you can get this out of the box built in. You don't need to code this by yourself. You can just do real-time model inference as part of the streaming platform and connect to your favorite AI models like OpenAI and Anthropic. Feel free to share any kind of feedback and questions directly to me, reach out on LinkedIn, or comment on the video to get feedback or questions. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Kai Werner with Confluence.